Well, hello there. New Melon Design here with another video from the series called Before and After. I'll show you render settings for my projects. Today we are working with this modern bungalow house and the shot we're looking for is a sunny day uh, shot at noon. So let's start by creating our base uh, render. And straight away one more copy of the same thing for our effects. Today I'm going to choose one of the presets from Lumion 9 called Realistic and I'm going to add a couple of more effects uh, in the weather and climate tab uh, real skies and I'm going to choose one of the even though it says cloudy as you can see there is uh, plenty of uh, sky visible in here so I'm going to use uh, this one and one more effect we have to work with the sun as well so we choose the sun effect as well so let's start uh, with the real skies uh, first so I can adjust my uh, my background in here I'm going to move the heading somewhere around here where I have uh, more of the clear uh, sky perhaps somewhere around there uh, I'm gonna move uh, the brightness up a lot as I mentioned it's gonna be a noon shot so very very strong sun that means the sky will be nice and bright as well so overall brightness and the brightness of, of the sky itself somewhere around here we may uh, have to come back to it uh, later on we'll see how it goes now I'm going to adjust the Sun I would like the Sun to come from behind me so uh, adjust the height of the Sun and the Sun heading coming from behind me so somewhere around here you can see the shadows coming from uh, behind and uh, pretty short which means the Sun is very high up in the skies and that's what we're looking for today so uh, we're done in here with the Sun and the skies moving on to our next uh, effect just going to bring the intensity of, uh, of this sharpening effect up just slightly not to overdo it and moving on to exposure as always I'm going to work with that one last uh, so next stop is a color correction I want the, the shot is a little bit uh, warm in here as you can see so uh, uh, the light would be reflecting from the skies uh, the bright skies uh, down so I'm going to bring the temperature down as you can see it is uh, starting to change the, the color towards the blue uh, spectrum that's what we're looking for and the tint up a little bit and a little more of the temperature down now it is looking more like a like a day shot with a bright uh, sun and brightness perhaps up just a bit and the contrast up as well the sun is very sharp especially the shadows will be very sharp so we want uh, a lot of contrast in this shot. Moving on to our next uh, effect, reflections. We have a couple of uh, reflective surfaces in here, specifically these uh, windows in here on the house. So we will select them one by one so we get our realistic reflections on those. There we are, not forgetting to uh, turn on the speed ray reflections and we are done uh, with this effect. Hyperlight, since we are uh, looking for exterior shot, we don't have to adjust uh, at all, but we have to work with the skylight a little bit. I want to bring the, the brightness up. As I mentioned, the diffuse uh, light from the sky will be reflecting all over our shot, so on. I want to bring it up a little bit and also saturate it just a little bit. Uh, switching on the planar and projective reflections as well and we can keep the quality of the render on normal so it doesn't take too long to uh, render moving on to shadows now um, I brought the, the color 
of, uh, of the picture down a little bit towards the blue spectrum. We have to do the same thing with the coloring of the shadows. So I'm going to move the, um, excuse me, up in here, the coloring of the shadows. So uh, they're a little cold, not, uh, not too warm. Uh, brightness can stay where it is, because I can see it is uh, pretty sharp. I'm going to bring the Omni shadow down just a little bit. Uh, we are still keeping the, the shadows uh, strong. And I'm going to turn off the soft shadows, because the sun is almost above our heads. Uh, the shadows are very shor short, which means the sun is very strong. In that case, um, there shouldn't be any soft shadows. So I'm turning that off, and we are done with the shadow. Uh, moving on to chromatic aberrations, just to bring the dispersion down just a little bit. And that's all we have to do with this one. Uh, last one, depth of field. Now I would like the, I would like the house to, to pop out of the picture, which means I'm going to bring the amount of uh, blur up, perhaps uh, beyond the half point in here. As you can see, the, the house is popping up. To use the, the measuring tool, the distance measuring tool, uh, I'm going to select somewhere in the middle of the house so I get the front and the back sharp as well. Turn it on straight away, you can see it's uh, sharpening in the middle portion of the house, uh, focusing distance around 12 meters. And I'm going to bring the, the background foreground slider up a little bit, which means the background will be. Uh, blurred a little more than the foreground as you can see in here when i move towards in here the foreground is getting sharper i don't want it to be totally sharp just a little bit uh, uh, blurred out of focus and the background as well so now you can see the house is popping uh, very nicely and let's go let's go back to our exposure i don't think we have to adjust too much in here perhaps just a little bit up to Keep the picture very nice and bright and uh, it looks like we are pretty much done in here so let's uh, let's check our uh, render what we're going to get today and that is all for today folks thanks for watching stay well and stay creative